and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about what I think is the best bike out there that's a cruiser style and I think it's hard to knock it off the top spot I'm talking for the cost of the bike and the speed of the bike, the size of the batteries, overall, and the bike is the Wired Freedom or Wired Cruiser. It comes in uh, two models. It comes in the step through model or the step over model. But the Wired Freedom has a lot to offer. It's $1,999. I got to say, there is that is not counting shipping. And I think the shipping is $250. Uh, it might depend on where you are, but from where I am here in Oregon, it would be $250 to ship it. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And... Uh, but the bike has a lot to offer. First of all, it's one of the very few that are 60 volt because a lot of bikes are still 48 or you might get a 52, but very rarely do you get 60 volts uh, these days. So that's one thing it's got. It does also have a rear hub motor that is 1500 watts. And that's quite a bit of power. And then you add on there the Uh, fact that it can uh, peak out at 3200 watts that's pretty impressive uh, the other thing that's impressive about this bike is that it's got a controller that's 45 amp a 60 volt 45 amp controller and a lot of bikes are you're lucky to get 25 amp you might get 30 but a lot of times you get the 25 amp or 20 amp 48 volt uh, 15, uh, 14 amp hour battery and so you do get uh, a more powerful controller and once again it's 60 volts the top speed is about 40 miles per hour which is another impressive uh, part of this bike. Uh, the battery, let's talk about the battery. You don't get one battery, you get two batteries. And one battery is a 20 amp hour and the other is a 15 amp hour battery giving you a total of 35 amp hour. And once again, 60 volts, so. And not only do you get two batteries, but here's something else that's impressive. You get two chargers, so you can charge both batteries up at the same time. So, uh, and the chargers are three amp. A lot of times you'll get a two or a two and a half amp charger. So at least it's a three amp charger. Um, and you can charge both batteries up, as I say, at the same time, which is great. I know when I had the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly, it came with a 20 amp hour and a 15 amp hour battery. And I had version two, and that uh, came with uh, two chargers at the time. Um, one was a, or both of them, I should say, were a five amp charger. And that was really nice. You can charge the bike fast, faster at least, with a five amp charger and charge both batteries at the same time which is great it does have a twist throttle uh, front and rear lights uh, the torque I didn't mention the torque a hundred and fifty three Newton meters so it's gonna have no issues climbing hills for sure uh, let's see what else did I miss uh, 
trying to think, oh, I know what, I didn't talk about distance. So they didn't give the range for throttle only, but they do say, as most do, they seem to go to the pedal assist level one. The bike, by the way, has five pedal assist levels, but they say on pedal assist one, 90 miles. But I think if you're going to have that bike, you're not going to ride it in pedal assist one. You may ride it occasionally in pedal assist one, but I think for a bike that's going to do 38, 40 miles an hour, I doubt you're going to keep it very often in pedal assist one. I wouldn't. The only time I would be in pedal assist one would be if I was doing a uh, riding on a, a shared trail or path with pedestrians and it was busy so let's talk about the weight of the bike so the bike without batteries is 85 pounds with batteries is 105 and the maximum weight rider uh, can be uh, 350 pounds so you can be a pretty pretty good size uh, rider and it'll handle you. And the cruiser weight, because it does have a rear, or not cruiser weight, but the cargo weight, I'll get that straight, is 50 pounds because it does have a rear rack. I didn't mention that. And that's where the uh, one battery sits, uh, is in the uh, rear rack. It does come in several different colors. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check out the Fired Freedom or Cruiser. I think we pretty much covered uh, what I was going to talk about on this bike and I wanted to mention that if there's a bike out there that you think is better for this price range than this bike, by all means let us know in the comments. I'd be interested in seeing what you think is a better bike uh, than the Wired Freedom for this much money, which is $19.99 plus shipping. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to, to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll get a notify, uh, notified of another video coming out. And if you want to comment, like I say, on this or any other video, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments below, whether you uh, have an idea of a better bike uh, for the money than the Wired Freedom, or maybe you are a Wired Freedom owner and you can give your opinions on what you think of the bike so that's going to do it for this video and hey until next time keep your wheels in the road see you later